Hey guys, I am doing a teardown of the Mod Duo at the Noisebridge Hackerspace in San Francisco. Noisebridge is a anarchist collective um, and a hacker slash makerspace in the Mission neighborhood in San Francisco. Um, and Mod Devices makes a guitar pedal that is really cool. Um, this is the second batch of their Kickstarter edition, as you can see. Um, Mod Devices is based in Germany. Uh, they're a hardware startup. Um, and they were kind enough to uh, donate a unit to Noisebridge um, for hacking and playing around. So uh, it sounds really good. Um, you'll have to trust me on that because that's not what this video is about. But there may be some more in the pipeline. Um, so I'm just tearing it down to show you how it's built. It's really well built. It's a uh, die cast aluminum. Uh, there's four screws in the back. It's designed to be stepped on, <laughs> like literally. Um, and that's the lower board. Uh, you can see there's some serial stuff in the upper right, and it has a serial number. Uh, I mean serial as in like TXRX, probably for debugging or getting a console. Um, this thing is interesting because it runs Linux. Uh, it's a computer. Um, here I'm just going to speed up a bunch of stuff and talk over it because, uh, you know, uh, I'm taking off the two foot switches and there's two rotary encoders. Those are the only controls on the panel. Um, there's that big bar, um, so you're supposed to step on it. Um, and there's two LCD uh, screens. But, uh, but yeah, you're, it's, uh, it's running Linux, and you program it through a web interface. It's pretty cool. Um, one of my uh, parts criticisms is the parts I just took off are the quarter inch jacks, the ins and outs. Uh, they're, it's, they're made of plastic. Um, everything else is really, really pretty good. These are rotary encoders. Um, little hex wrench, um, nothing, nothing shocking here. It's all just really sturdy, well-built hardware. Um, those little plastic uh, quarter inch, um, uh, I guess you call them like ends, um, are, might, mm, might get banged around, not sure, but you know, uh, we're not going on tour with this. And there's five more screws in the back. Um, and, uh, but yeah, so it's a, it's a Linux computer and you program it through a web interface and you can make guitar pedal chains. Uh, it's doing real-time digital signal processing. Um, and you don't need to connect it to a computer for it to operate. You just program it through a computer. Um, and uh, y what you'll see pretty soon, uh, after I just sort of push in on the quarter inch there um, to lift up the uh, lower PCB, uh, this is a custom PCB that Mod made, um, is there's like a whole red uh, like system on chip uh, computer. Uh, I'm going to try and disconnect the, we'll try. I'm going to disconnect the power cable and then the ribbon that goes between um, the lower board, which you can see, and then the uh, top board, um, which I'll, you'll see later. Um, but yeah, uh, there's four gigs of flash memory on the system on module. Um, it's an all-winner A20. Um, there's a company called ITED. Um, there's going to be some, I'll put all of this stuff on the, uh, in the abouts and, uh, you know, follow up in the comments and stuff. Um, don't forget to like and follow and subscribe and do all the social medias. There we go. Got it. Um, ITED is a Shenzhen company that sells this uh, board, you can see. Um, that is a complete computer. Um, and uh, that... There's MIDI, uh, there's Ethernet, there's USB, there is, uh, we'll get to the audio later. There's the audio. Um, it's a Cirrus Logic uh, chip. Um, it uh, goes up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. I'm not sure what the software's sampling at. Um, there's, you can see, that's the little chip. So they built a custom sound card, it connects over the I2S bus of the all-winner CPU. Um, and... Uh, now I'm going to the top board, kind of looking at it like what, um, you can see I'm a little confused. Those two uh, foot switches are not connected to the PCB. Um, there, so I didn't really even need to unscrew them. But then there's a microcontroller. It's an ARM Cortex M3 in a NXP package. Uh, it's basically uh, an Arduino, uh, sort of. I mean, not an Arduino brand, but it's what you would find in an Arduino. And that's controlling the LCDs. Um, and I'm assuming a lot of the, uh, the encoders and the foot switches. Um, and there's also this little thing here that's an LED controller. 
also made by NXP. It's a little, it's small. Um, and that, I believe, controls the LEDs on the front for the foot switches and the audio uh, input levels. Um, so you can visually monitor your uh, audio input. Um, yeah, so those are the four main integrated circuits on the board. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, altogether, if you were to buy them, uh, they're about 65 US dollars. And then you can see that this, uh, this IT'd uh, uh, computer, I'm kind of leaning in, it's uh, connected to a laptop memory, like an SO DIMM slot. Um, it's screwed in there. Um, I found that out while I was uh, doing this. Uh, but um, it's kind of gnarly. It's just like a, you just put one of these, like, like essentially a memory slot on a PCB, uh, you know, design it so that all of the, the pins go to different traces, and, you know, you know, you can just put a computer on your PCB. Obviously, as an audio, piece of audio equipment, the audio stuff is the most important. Um, oh, there's also a SATA connector <laughs> on this, this, uh, this board, uh, this is like an IT board. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> pretty cool, you know, you can connect some stuff to that. Um, you might have to power it externally, I'm not sure, it's just sort of on there. Um, but yeah, you can see that there's a lot of audio capacitors and, and stuff for the, getting the audio circuits. Um, this has no latency. So thanks guys. Um, come check out NoiseBridge. Um, and thanks Mod Devices. Also come check out NoiseBridge. Um, I'm going to put all the info that I spoke about here in the video um, about and links to all the parts and stay tuned for some sound demos and LV2 plugin authoring. Bye.